I came out here with a friend of mine today to watch migrating birds moving north from their winter grounds. And it turns out that some of these birds out here have moved for thousands of miles. And they do this every year. So it makes you wonder a little bit though, how can they do this? And how can they come back to the same location every year? Well, it turns out that there's a lot of physics involved in this. The distances these animals cover twice a year are pretty mind-blowing. So it makes sense that they have evolved many adaptations to help them in these migrations. Let's take a look at a couple of these. Let's start with why some birds fly in a V formation. V formation. To understand why they do this, we should first look at how a wing works. A wing generates lift because there's a pressure difference between the upper side and the underside of the wing. But at the tip of the wing, the higher pressure region on the underside kind of curls around to the lower pressure region of the upper side. And this creates kind of like a spiral called a wingtip vortex. And as it spirals around, it actually pushes down on the force of the lift. So it's kind of like a negative force in the sense of flight, and it's called a downwash. This is when the V formation is really beneficial. You see, just outside of the wingtip, the vortex also generates an upwash. So a bird following behind and just outside of the flight path of another bird can use that upwash to get free lift. And this makes a huge difference in energy consumption during long distance migrations. So pretty sweet, unless you are at the points of the V. Next, how they navigate. So we use a compass in order to know where we're heading, but for birds that compass is kind of built into their cells. And if that sounds complicated, it actually gets worse. Experiments done on the European robin show that these birds orient themselves only on the specific colors of light and that certain radio wavelengths can totally mess up their sense of direction. And this is not how a regular compass works. The scientists believe that the birds use some kind of quantum mechanics in order to orient themselves. And this is really advanced stuff. To put it in simple terms, they think that the birds' eyes work similar to the digital display that pilots have, giving the birds the ability to see Earth's magnetic field. I know, totally crazy. And I apologize if I really confused you, but I just think this is awesome. And last, eating during the migration. Energy consumption. I'm taking the ruby-throated hummingbird as an example here. This guy has the Gulf of Mexico in his migrational path. This trip takes close to 22 hours. This is crazy for a little bird like that. So hummingbirds are small and they have a huge energy consumption because of the way they fly. And now they have to stock up on 25 to 40% body fat before they do the crossing. That's a lot of extra weight to carry for a little guy like that and then have to fly for another 22 hours. So that's it, some interesting facts around physics of migration. Untamed Science is a collaborative effort between several people and if you like what we're doing, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button because we have new videos coming out every week.